the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. All right, guys, today the fire danger is the big concern. That's what we're monitoring weather-wise for today. Tomorrow, we'll be talking the threat for thunderstorms, severe weather, and by tomorrow night, a little snow in parts of Oklahoma. So it's a wild forecast. Today, we're on the warm, windy side of things. And just a reminder, we've added several counties here to burn bans. So I just wanted to update you. It's not a good day to burn statewide, but it is illegal for in the counties in red, which does include Oklahoma County and Oklahoma City. Today, fire danger high to extreme. Humidity down 5 to 10 percent in western Oklahoma with winds gusting 35 to 40 miles per hour. That is a recipe for disaster with even the smallest spark. So please be careful today. Right now it's quiet. It's 46 degrees. South winds aren't on the strong side yet in Oklahoma City. We've warmed to the 40s, the 50s. South winds are 5 to 20 now, getting some gusts close to 20, up to 30 in western Oklahoma. And we've had gusts closing in on 40 up in Woodward County. Highs in the 70s and 80s today. Very warm. And then tonight, 40s and 50s on the way. We'll have some increasing cloud cover. South winds stay up well above our average tonight. And tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day. We're going to go through several hours tomorrow where we are dry. Rain and storm chances start to creep up after 5 p.m. tomorrow. So plenty of time to warm into the 70s, close to 80, and then dropping temperatures as the colder air rushes in. So what we're watching, there goes the system from yesterday, by the way, pulling away from us. And there are two waves out to the west. These are actually coming together and kind of combining over the four corners portion of our country. And that will ramp up the jet stream over Oklahoma and watch the Precip evolve starting with tomorrow afternoon, four or five o'clock. We'll watch western Oklahoma for storms to flare up, making their way towards Oklahoma City between about seven and nine, the way it looks. And we'll be warm and unstable in this zone, and that's where these storms could crank out some wind and hail. May have some small hail with storms in northern Oklahoma as well. And you see the blue, that's snow mixing in because we'll be very cold in the just above the ground. Ground temperatures warm enough that I think we'll see slush at best out of this as far as any type of winter precip goes. Meanwhile, the rain pushes off to the east, and the system kind of swirls over Oklahoma tomorrow morning, keeping the rain or Friday morning, that is, keeping rain around for a while while into your Friday morning. Rain chances going up 60 to 70 percent as the storms develop and move to the north and east. Rain changing over to snow in the northwest by tomorrow night into Friday morning. Chances going up to 80 percent here in Oklahoma City. So let's get into the nuts and bolts of the potential for storms. Between 5 and 11, trackers will be out tomorrow monitoring these storms. They'll be elevated the way it looks, which means that they will be wind and hail producers potentially but the overall tornado risk is extremely low. They get undercut by the cold front pretty quickly. But as far as hail goes, I think dime size hail to the north, nickel and dimes, up to quarters in the metro. And then in the south central portions of the state, a few of these storms could crank out up to golf ball size hail. I don't think that'll be common, but that is going to be kind of on the high end of things that we'll monitor for. Winds anywhere from 45, 55 to 60 mile an hour winds. Now, where we get some of the heavier storms, which they'll be moving pretty quickly. They could easily dump a quarter of an inch, half of an inch, maybe even some pockets of an inch of rain, more widespread, half an inch to an inch in northern Oklahoma, where it will rain longer. And for folks in the west and southwest, your totals still look to be on the light side out of the system. As far as snow goes, I think a trace, maybe even up to an inch of snow will fall tomorrow in this area. But I think due to ground temps and surface temps being around freezing, some slush will be possible on the roadways. Then for your Friday, the final day of spring break, we've got a northwest wind. It'll feel chilly with temperatures going from the 70s Thursday to the 50s on Friday, back to the upper 60s, low 70s. The weekend looks fantastic. And there's a slow moving soaking storm in the forecast for next week, knocking our highs back to the 60s. Back to you guys.